All right, we're here live at MCR TV under the bridge out here in Market Square, DTMA Fan Fair 2018, along with the Hano artist, Lucy Rodriguez. How are you doing? Good. How are you guys? Good, good. We finally meet. Yes, finally. <laughs> How's everything going? It's going great. It's going great. You know, we're we're here. Hopefully, uh, a lot of people are going to be here. What it looks like a lot of the people are here. So, so we're excited. Yeah. Awesome. So, congratulations on the new CD. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was it was a long endeavor, two years coming, but but it's done and and hopefully it's like it. there's a little there's a little bit of everything for everybody there. Awesome, man! You got a a record, a actual record album, 33. I think that's the first time an uh, an album has been done, and I don't know how long for any artist. Yeah. It's done. yeah, yeah, we had to. Uh, I jumped on it when I saw the opportunity because I just I wanted to have that that tangible vinyl, and and uh, and I've got it. So yeah, if anybody wants to order it. Let me know. Is it going to be a one-time thing, or are you going to do it for every album? I'm going to do it for every album. Wow, really? Collector's items? Yes, exactly. <laughs> have you actually played it on the... On the yeah, I have. I've got it on, on video, and i put it on my Facebook and Instagram and stuff, and, and uh, it was kind of weird to see myself, you know, spinning on there and stuff, and it's cool. Slower than the CD. Exactly. <laughs> Definitely slower than the CD. <laughs> 30, uh, the 33. Did it have all the cracks and pops like an actual album? A little bit. Yeah, it did. <laughs> So it was was it like it was an old CD, uh, old record like that if you heard it that way a teensy bit but not 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 so much but yeah it was a little on the because you know when you hear you hear records and you play them they have all the cracks and pops yeah. and stuff like back in the 80s and stuff when they were still going exactly exactly yeah it has a little bit but not it's not too too bad so let's talk about the CD um it's it's great the uh, uh, hello baby doll is, is awesome and of course we have some of your songs on our countdowns and stuff like that so. Yeah, Carlos uh, Moreno actually helped you with it. Yes, he did. Um, I got his approval before I even started any uh, any recording whatsoever because I wanted to make sure it was done right. And uh, so he approved it, and and the rest is history. You know, you know, I've gotten a lot of really positive comments on it. Um, you know, very few um, a few people have asked. You know, hey, what what made you record it or whatever? And I was like, I don't know. It's just. Um, it was a, a thing that I listened to a lot when I was younger, and when I was deployed in Iraq, it was it. They used to play on BNet, and that made me think of you know coming back home. So I said, when I go back home, I gotta record it. So I did. You're military? Yes, I am. Really? Oh, yeah. fellow veteran, fellow veteran. <laughs> where, where were you stationed at? Uh, well, at Air Force, I was stationed in uh, uh, Germany for the most part. Yeah, Germany and uh, UK. Air Force. Air Force. Did you fly? Uh, no. <laughs> that would have been cool if you did. It would be like Top Gun. But uh, that was Navy. But anyways, that was pretty cool. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Ah, there you go. Right, there you go. It's, it's awesome. It's an awesome album, though. So where did the concept for the rest of it come in? Uh, for the rest of the album? Well, there, there was a lot of uh, a new, um, well, not new. Well, one new um, songwriter is the one that kind of um, wanted to, to provide me new concepts and new songs and things like that. So... Um, I recorded one of his uh, um, songs, and um, the rest is, was like, you know, just uh, several songwriters just kind of came up to me and said, hey, you know, I'd love for you to record my song, and, and uh, it, but it had to have some meaning behind it. It couldn't just be um, any, any old song, so that, I, I had to, to, uh, to look deep, and that's what took me so long. Yeah. Between me and my producer, we took a long time to, to come up with concepts. Now, was it your idea to actually make it into a 33? Yes. <laughs> why, why was it that, that way you wanted to do it at a 33? Um, because I hadn't seen that anymore. I, I don't see it anymore. And, uh, and But bigger bands were doing it, uh, U.S. bands, I mean uh, English uh, bands were doing it. So I said, you know, if they're doing it, why can't I? What's the big deal? True. So. so you think it'll be a trend now? Everybody start making 33s again? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. So are you going to be performing here? Um, I think so. Yeah, we'll see. It's it's to be determined. Oh, okay. <laughs> awesome. Well, congratulations on everything. We're pretty, and uh, thank you for having sending us some music as well. So, any shout outs you want to give out? Um, to everybody in Corpus and uh, San Antonio and uh, Monterrey, Mexico. Have a great time here at uh, Fanfare if you're here. And if not, we'll miss you. Well, thank you so much for everything. Really do appreciate it. Miss Lucy Rodriguez, right here on MCR TV.